Here we're going to be looking at a bank reconciliation schedule and what we're going to be concentrating on here is book errors that understate or overstate the book balance. So let's go down and look at our bank reconciliation schedule. We can either have a balance per the bank statement here and in this case it's what we're dealing with is a cash balance or beginning cash balance uh, either per the bank statement or we can have a balance per the depositors books here in this case it's the company's books and then we again we start with a beginning cash balance here and then we some have some additions and, and subtractions or reductions here to the beginning cash balance and then we came with those additions and reductions that we make here we come up with the correct cash balance amount so um, then again let's just look at these additions here so when we look at a balance per the depositors books again start with the beginning cash balance here and then we would add back any bank credits and collections not recorded on the books. In this case we got $1,236. That's for a, a note that was collected or a loan that was collected by the bank in behalf of the company here. And then we'd be adding back book errors that understate the book balance. In this case we're going to have $554 worth here. And then we subtract out any bank charges not on the books. Well there is $3,100 in this case here. And then we also subtract out any book errors that overstate the book balance here so that we'd have three hundred and twenty four dollars here so what we do is we take this beginning balance here and then we net all these additions and reductions here and we come up with the ending balance or the correct cash balance that we should have for the company. So we're going to go up and look at this now and what we're going to concentrate on is these book errors that understate the book balance or book errors that overstate the book balance and we're going to look at them just in terms of some checks that were transcribed wrong or entered wrong here on the on the for the company here. So let's go up and look at this here. So here we got this cash per the book here. So again we start out with a beginning balance here and this is July 1st we had $3,970 and then we're going to have some uh, debits and credits here that we're going to be looking at for some checks that were entered wrong here and then we're going to end with, have our ending balance here $5,404. So let's go and first look at our first error here in recording a deposit. But before we get into that, when we make our Ca our debits and credits here to cash, we're also going to have to have it an associated debit or credit to some other associated account. But we're not going to looking, be looking at those right now. All I'm going to look at is how you would how this affects our cash amount here when we have an error. So first, for the error in recording a deposit, say for example the customer's check was received for $90 here. They, company received the $90 check from a company but it was entered for $60 here in a record so the difference between the 90 60 gives us $30 where the uh, book value here or the book was understated so let's look at that here is entered for $60 it should have been entered for 90 so what we would do is we'd just be have to add 30 more dollars here increase our cash account here to $30 to bring it up to the $90 amount here and then let's look here where we have an error in writing a check say for example the check in the amount of $491 was entered for 419 it was written here by the company the company wrote a check out here to pay for something for 419 but it was recorded as $419. So you take the $491 less $419. $419 gives us $72 where the uh, book value here was or the book amount here was overstated. So let's look at this case here. Uh, that is it should have been originally entered as $491 but they entered it here as $419. So uh, it over we had we didn't reduce our cash amount enough. So just taking the difference here, $72, we'd be reducing our cash by that $72 amount. That would bring it up to the amount that it should have been uh, at $491 here. Now let's look here where we have Aaron writing a check again. In this case, the check in the amount of $58.20 that the company wrote a check out here to pay for something for $58.20, but it was entered for $582. So um, they, we'll look at that here. It was entered for $582. So $582 less the $58.20 gives us $523 here where the book amount was understated. So here again, written for, it should have been $58.20. It should have been, the cash account here should have been credited for $58.20, but instead it was 
credited here for $582 by mistake. So what we do is we just take the difference here. Then we'd go over, uh, take our credit amount here, but we would be debiting or increasing our cash for the amount here of that year by $523.80. Now let's look in the case here we have an NSF check for $253.20. That is the bank charged the company this uh, on this amount because the bank couldn't collect on this check here. The company recorded this initially as $253.20 but the bank couldn't collect on it so they uh, the bank charged the company back. So just our, our reasoning here it would have been debited here by the company before they sent it to the bank here for $253.20 so now that has to be removed here from the cash account so what we would do is we'd credit our cash account here for that NSF check for $253.20. Now we got one item, here, one last item here. It was a uh, the bank here collected on a note that was due to the company. Uh, that is a customer uh, paid the bank directly for uh, a note or a loan that the company was due here. So what we would do in this case, we would, since it wasn't recorded here by the company, uh, in this case we would debit or increase our cash account here for $1,236 and then and of course there would be an associated account to a notes receivable in this case. But what I've just gone over here is I just wanted to show you how this, how just some reasoning here when you come to uh, checking your having these errors for either understating or overstating the book balance here and from writing a check. So you can just go through these here and, and see how you would handle it. Do some reasoning here for your debits and credits to understand how to correct those check errors. And again, remember there has to be an associated account for each one of our debits or credits to some other account, but I'm just going through our cash account here to see how we'd come up with the correct cash balance and based on some beginning balance here that we have. And we would do that here uh, per this uh, balance per the depositors books when we're doing this bank reconciliation. In summary, for any book errors that understate or overstate the book balance here, and in reference to our cash account here per the book, for any errors that understate the book balance, we'd be debiting or increasing our cash account here, and for any errors that overstate the book balance, we'd be crediting or reducing our cash account here. And uh, when we make a debit or credit here to our cash account, and then we'd have to be looking for an associated account here to either debit or credit as a balancing amount here. So anyway, this is a good reference here. So any uh, book errors that overstate the uh, book balance here, we'd be crediting or reducing our cash account, and then for understating, we'd be debiting or increasing our cash account. So just going back to our bank, re bank reconciliation schedule here. So in the, in the case here where you have bank credits and collections not on the books, well, you'd be adding that here to the beginning balance, or you'd be debiting or increasing your cash account here. Now for uh, any book errors that understate the book balance here, again, you'd be adding that to your beginning balance here of your... Uh, cash uh, cash amount here and then you would be also adding or debiting or increasing your cash account for that and then any b book bank charges not on the books logical choice here you'd be subtracting that here from your beginning balance here so you'd be crediting that here and then again any book errors that overstate the book balance you'd be subtracting that here from your balance and that would be a credit here to the cash account so this is just a reference here so any errors that understate the book balance get uh, debit or increase your cash account and then any uh, book errors that overstate the book balance would be crediting or reducing your cash account.